Nigel Farage clearly feeling pretty uh, bullish. And why not when you look ahead now to some of the big elections forthcoming beyond next May's crucial council elections, of course, the Scots and the Welsh actually have Welsh and Scottish parliaments with proportional representation. Those of us in England uh, don't get that, of course, which I think is completely outrageous that there isn't an English parliament. But in terms of Scotland, I mean, this was an interesting by-election result this week. Reform getting nearly 26% of the vote uh, from nowhere in Aberdeenshire. And in terms of Wales, where, of course, there is proportional representation uh, for those Welsh parliament elections, what you're looking at now is a situation where reform have overtaken the Conservatives. So you've got Labour, followed by Plaid Cymru, and then it's reform third, Conservatives fourth. And remember, reform coming second in 13 out of 32 uh, constituencies. Nigel there quoted as saying, the Senate elections are now just 18 months away. This new poll shows reform ahead of the Conservatives 19% in Wales, including 26% in the Valleys. Only reform can be the challenger to Labour. And Nigel spoke uh, in Wales yesterday. This is what he had to say. Uh, do let me know, guys, what you make of those numbers and who you currently intend to support at the next election. Building a people's army and having good men and good women prepared to put themselves up to be candidates in this case in particular, for those Senate elections in 2026. Now, it so happens they've increased the size from 60 to 96. It may be mad, but it's happening. So why don't we turn that to our advantage? Why don't we use that to our advantage? 